Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel, welcome to my channel. I'm finally doing actual makeup. I feel like I haven't done makeup on my channel for a little while. I mean, we've talked about makeup, but I haven't actually put on makeup in the past few videos. So finally, I'm sitting down and putting some actual makeup on my face. <laughs> Today I'm doing three looks with the Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palette. I've done two kind of brighter looks and then one neutral. This has become one of my go-to palettes, especially for colourful looks, but there is also neutral colours in here. And overall the formula of these shadows is so good. It is literally one of my favourites. So I thought I'd dive right back on into it and create a few looks with this. If you enjoy these kind of videos where I do multiple looks, please leave a thumbs up so I know. And I can do some more. I've got a few palettes back there that I can crack open and we can do a few looks with them. This makeup actually isn't included in this video. I forgot to film an intro. I'm just hopping in to tell you guys what we're doing in this one. But I have filmed it, so it is coming up in an upcoming video. So if you like this makeup, then it is coming. <laughs> if you're new around here, I'd love it if you'd stick around. Why not subscribe? All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. But yeah, without further ado, we've got three looks to get through, so let's get right on into All right, it. So this is the first look we're doing. This is actually requested by one of you guys. I wore this in one of my most recent videos and I think it was Olivia you asked for it, didn't you? I can't quite remember. <laughs> but I'm going to be doing it today. I'm going in with the Cut Crease Canvas by Makeup Revolution just to use something a little bit different and I'm using a Morphe M224 brush to pat this all over the lid. I'm just doing a light layer of this all over the lid all the way up to the brow. I am going to be going in with a white base to do the actual cut crease so I'm not worrying too much about the actual lid itself. Make sure that around the edges there's no harsh lines or anything so I really blend it out and into the skin. Okay the first shade that I'm going in with is called Morning Glory and I'm going in with the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush in JS13 and I'm starting to carve out the cut crease effect. Because I have more hooded lids I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm actually looking into a mirror straight ahead so I can see the shape and also I can try and match it up with the other eye. Try being the word. I'm not worrying too much about getting it on my lid because because this is just the base colour and I am going to be carving out the crease so I'm just placing the colour down. Now as I come to just over the halfway mark as you can see it kind of lines up with the end of my iris. I'm going to make sure that the majority of the product is taken off the brush and I'm just going to start fanning it out at the end. So as you can see by here it kind of fades out so I want to make sure I'm doing the same with this eye and I'm barely touching my skin with the brush. I'm holding it right at the end and I'm just doing light little brush strokes to, to fade the colour out. Just like so, as you guys can see, I've got a lot on my lid, but we're gonna clean that up later, so don't worry about it. Now I'm going in with one of my favourite shades in the entire palette, which is called Mr. H, and I'm going in with the Morphe M124 brush, and I'm gonna go 50% on the pink and 50% on my actual bare lid, and this is gonna start that gradient. Because this is such a thin, brush it really works well for this in placing the colour so we're not so much blending right now we're just placing the colour on top. Angles are everything when you're doing this so make sure you're not doing this and going up because you're going to lose a lot of that pink. Make sure you're coming like straight ahead from your eye <laughs> so you really get the benefit of the thinness of the brush as well because if you pack on colour on the side of the brush as well it's just going to make it messy and you're going to lose the pink that you've just placed down and we don't want to lose it we just want to make a gradient. So when I come to the end on this colour, again, I'm fading it out the same as the pink, but I am making it go a little bit further because that's the kind of effect that we've got going. It's kind of like an arch effect. So it's going to go up a little bit further and out a little bit further, but not too much. Again, same thing. I'm just using excess product that's on the brush. I'm not dipping in for any more. I'm making sure that I'm holding at the end of the brush so I can really get the fluffy effect. Okay, here comes the blending part. I'm taking the Morphe M506 brush and the shade Modest and I'm going over that peach shade we just used in little circular motions to really buff and blend it out. I really want this to merge together and create that orangey shade. So I'm building up the product on the brush and then tapping off the excess and just doing little blend motions. And don't be afraid to go up to the brow. If you've got hooded lids especially, don't be afraid to go up to the brow. There's nothing wrong with shadow there, okay? <laughs> taking this right into the inner corner as well. And now again with the excess I'm doing exactly the same but with little circular motions. And again I'm taking it slightly further than the original colours. Okay, now I'm just taking a step back and looking at the eyeshadow with a horizontal mirror and I'm seeing if I'm even and I can tell that I've gone slightly further out so I just evened myself up. Working little by little, adding the colour very gradually and making sure that I'm still keeping that tapered edge at the end. 
and now I'm pretty happy with the layout and that I'm pretty even. I'm never gonna be perfect. <laughs> now it's time to carve the crease. Before I add any more product, I add any more bases or anything like that, I wanna actually take off the color that's on my lid. I learned this trick through P. Louise. She takes Vaseline and actually uses it to remove the shadow on the lid. And it's so gentle and works really quickly and easily and it doesn't leave a residue. So I use a little Q-tip, I just pick up a little bit of Vaseline and I just wipe off the shadow. This will take away the base as well, but that's fine because I'm using a white base after this. Once I've put on the Vaseline, I use the other side of the Q-tip, the clean side, and I just wipe it off and take away the color. It's so quick, so easy. I just go in with a light layer as well. You don't need to really like gloop it on or anything, just a very light layer, and it just takes it all off. Now I'm gonna go in with the white P. Louise base and I'm gonna carve out the crease. I'm gonna kind of fade it out into the cut crease canvas that we've already got down, just so it's more based on the lid and you don't have like, you know, like a white streak out here or anything. I'm gonna concentrate it on the lid here and then just fade it out towards the edge just by using my fingers. Now my eyes are two completely different shapes so I'm constantly pulling back looking at the mirror seeing if they're somewhat even and they're still not but it's fine. <laughs> But now it's time for the wing before we set the lid because we're gonna be creating a wing. We don't want that shimmer already on there. So I'm gonna go in with a Spectrum A24 brush. This is super duper thin. And I'm going in with the shade Morning Glory again. I'm gonna look straight into my mirror and stamp where I want the wing to end and then bring it in. Bearing in mind that I'm bringing the wing kind of halfway across the lid. Once I'm pretty happy with the placement, I just connect the outer corner to the lower lash line. I also smudge a bit of the color at the lash line as well because we are creating a gradient wing. Now I'm taking a Spectrum A15 brush and I'm going in with the shade Mr. H and I'm fluffing over the inner edges of this line. And then finally, I'm going in with the shade Modest right in the center and just fluffing that out. All right, now it's time to set the rest of the lid. I'm going in with the Morphe JS11 brush and I'm going in with the shade Muffin and I'm just gonna go right over where that white base is all the way out here as well. Make sure to pat out any creases as well before you go in with this color. You can use a smaller brush if you'd like to, to make it easier, but I'm just lazy, so <laughs> I was just using the tip of this one to go in the smaller areas and kind of flipping it upside down to make sure I wasn't hitting the wing. That's all good and set. Now we can go in with the fun stuff, which is the pigment. <laughs> so I'm using Peaches and Cream pigment in the color Hollywood. It's just basically like a white with a gold reflect. It's so pretty. The brush I'm using for this is a Morphe M213. It's just a short, stubby, natural hairbrush. It's really good for pigment. I'm just using this pigment dry. I like to pick it up on the brush and then press it into the lid so it's more embedded into the bristles and it's less likely to fluff everywhere. But that's the pigment. Isn't that so pretty? It looks so nice. Oh my gosh. Once I've got the pigment on the brush, I start at the cut crease and I start stamping it so I've got real precision and control. And with the excess on the brush, I just start stamping that all over the lid. Eventually you'll get this. <laughs> but yeah, look how pretty that pigment is. Oh, I die. All right, now I'm gonna go tight line, put on mascara, I'm using the Fenty Full Frontal, and then I'm gonna add some lashes. I applied a little bit of liner as well just to merge the lashes in, and that is pretty much it. I'm gonna go do my base and everything like that, and then we'll finish up the lower lash line. All right, so I've done my base. It's a little bit messy and a little bit cakey. I used a few products that haven't really worked together, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's finish up these eyes. So I'm going in with Morning Glory right up close to the lash line and then I'm just gonna blend it out with Modest. Super simple, really quick and easy. Nothing too crazy on the bottom. And I'm taking it three quarters of the way across my eye. All right, and then to really pop off this look, I used a yellow liner. I'm using the NYX Off Tropic Pro Liner in Pineapple Punch. I do believe these are actually discontinued now, but it's the only yellow eyeliner I have. But I'm just gonna pop this in the waterline and then add some lower mascara. And then that is look one all done and dusted. Okay, so this is the first look done. Let's move on to the second, which is this one right here. It's a pretty summery pink and orange cut crease with a little golden glitter as well. I really like this look when I did it the other day, but I didn't film it, but now I want to. 
let's get right on into it. So I'm priming again with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I just have been really enjoying this lately. Really lightweight on the lid and just has decent coverage. So similar to my last look, I'm going to start out by doing the base of my cut crease and I'm going in with the shade Mixer. For this I'm using the Morphe M456 brush and I'm just going to start sketching out the shape for the cut crease. I've got to try to remember to stop lifting my eyebrows because I automatically do this. <laughs> and my eyes don't rest like that so I'm trying to make sure I don't do that. I am taking this colour right across. I'm taking it all the way to the end of the brow. Once I've got that down, I'm going in with the Morphe M166. And I'm taking the tiniest amount of the shade Mental and I'm going right underneath and I'm carving out the cut crease a little bit more, adding a little bit of depth. Now I'm going in with the shade Manchester and I'm going to blend out the edges. Alright, so that's that all done. And now I'm going to do my Vaseline trick again and I'm going to cut the crease. And then we're going to get onto the outer corner and everything like that. I'm gonna go in with this brush, it's by Freedom, which is no longer available, but any kind of angled brush will do, or well, any kind of packing brush really. And I'm going in with the shade Mini, packing this out on the outer corner and start bringing it in to about a third way across the lid, like not very far at all. I'm gonna stamp it on an angle, because by the end, once I've blended everything in, I want it to make a kind of curved shape, as you can kind of see there. So by placing it down on the angle, first of all, we've already got that kind of structure going Going on. Okay, so now we have the colour down. I'm taking this little fluffy brush. This is from a BH Cosmetics set. It's a number two brush. It's just a little pointed fluffy brush and I'm going to start fluffing out the outer corner and merging it in with this orange at the end there. And I'm not worrying too much about this outer edge because I haven't done my foundation or anything like that yet so I can clean that up afterwards. Right now I'm just focusing on blending these two colours together and just fading out the colour. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that for the moment. We'll come back to it in a second. Now I'm going to do the lid colour and I actually use the Revlon Skin Lights highlighter for this just because there isn't a light enough gold in the actual palette for me. So I'm just going to apply this and I apply this with my finger because honestly it's the best way to get the payoff. So I'm just going to quickly apply this and then we'll come back to the outside colour. Alright, so now that is on, I'm going back in with my fluffy brush with no extra product. This is just excess that's already on there. And I'm going to start fading the raspberry colour into the gold and just make it all blendy. What's great about this brush is it has the little tip so you can really just feather it over lightly and it blends so nicely. I'm making sure while I'm blending to still keep it on an angle as well so we still keep that kind of feel line shape. I'm just gonna build up the colour a little bit more on the outer part and blend it just so I've still got that depth there. Honestly these shadows kill me every single time. They are so good. I love this palette so much. <laughs> okay so now for my little cut crease glitter moment. I'm going in with the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow and this is in the shade 24 karat gold and I'm gonna use a little liner brush. This is a Morphe M250-0 brush. <laughs> It's just a really tiny brush that's really great for detailed work like this. And I just take it off the little doe foot and just cut the crease. When I come towards the end, I just make sure I haven't got that much product left on my brush and I just kind of taper it out. It's not the thinnest line I've ever done, but at least you can still see it. I'm gonna let this dry, do my lashes, add some falsies and my base, and then we'll finish up the lower lash line together and we'll see the finished look. All right, so I'm back with my base and everything on. Now it's time to finish up with these under eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M124 brush this is such a handy brush for getting right underneath the under eye and also just packing on colour. Pretty good diverse brush. But I'm going to take the colour mini and link it with our outer corner and bring it in three quarters of the way, tucking it right into the lash line. Now I'm taking a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to take the shade Mixer and I'm going to buff and blend that colour, again merging it all together to blend it out the outer shadow. Then I'm just going to add lower lash mascara. I'm also going to add an inner corner highlight with just the colour that we used all over the lid, the Revlon highlight, and then that is it for this eye look. Don't mind the corners of my mouth, I just had something to eat, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> Here is the finished look. I really like this one. I really love the colours and I love the blend. They just really work well together. And I love that little slither of glitter. By the way, for all of these looks, I'm going to be leaving all the base products, lip products, lashes, everything like that down in the description box. So if you are curious, everything will be listed that I've used down there. Let's get on to the third and final look. <laughs> 
Okay, so here's our final eye look, which is a little bit more neutral, but I wanted to add a look like this into the video just to show you that you can do bright colors, but also the neutrals really come in hand in this palette and it's quite diverse. So we're gonna be creating this soft eye look. So let's get right on into it. Please ignore the redness around my eye. I've literally just washed off that second look I just did. But now I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 1. The first shade I'm going in with is Modest. And I'm taking the Morphe M433 brush and I'm gonna fluff this all throughout the crease and blend it quite far out. And then also put it on the outer third of my lid. Now I'm taking the shade Meh. <laughs> on a little elf crease brush and I'm just working that into the outer half of my eye and just deepening up the outer corner. Again, because I've got hooded lids, I'm making sure to keep my eyes open as well and place the product so you can still see it when I relax my eye. And once the product is placed down, I blend it out. I like to go back in with the original brush and blend out the edges to make sure it's all seamless as well, keeping this look very soft. I am slightly fanning this color out and making like a pretty gradient. Now I'm going in with this battered weaver brush. It's the smoky shade brush and I'm going in with the shade called Master which is this beautiful bronzy gold shade and I'm putting it all over that open lid up until just about halfway to meet that meh shade and I'm not being super precise with it. It's not a cut crease or anything. It's just laying down the colour. I'm actually going to take the edge of the brush and just kind of blend the edges a little bit so it's not so harsh. Now I'm going to take this tiny little brush which is the Beauty Bay on point brush. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a lip brush. <laughs> but I'm just going to use it to use the shade Monday and smoke out the lash line a little bit just so we've got some definition there for when we put on the lashes and everything. Once I've placed the product down I'm just rubbing it slightly with the brush and it just blends it really nicely so it's smudgy and not a really harsh line. Now you can stop here if you wanted to but I'm just gonna amp it up a little bit more. I'm gonna take the same shade Monday and just add a little bit more definition out here and by a little bit I mean the tiniest amount and I'm taking the same elf crease brush. Just make sure that you blend it all out and everything. I'm taking my original blendy brush. This was a very last minute decision but I added the shade meaty in the center just to kind of blend a little bit more warmth into the look. I'm just gonna do that on this side as well. It also creates a really pretty rosy gold tone. So now I'm once again gonna go put on mascara, lashes, tight line, do my base and then we'll finish up the lower lash line. So I'll be right back. <laughs> okay so my base is all done. Went a little bit over the top again but it's fine. Let's finish up these eyes because I've lost daylight. It's been a while. <laughs> so for the under eye what I've done is I've gone in with the colour Meh and I've taken that pretty much all the way across the lower lash line. Then I went in with the shade Modest and I just blended that colour out real quick. And then finally I took the shade Monday on a really pointed brush and tucked it right at the lash line and just blended it into the mesh shade and it just creates a kind of sultry, smoky eye. Then took a clean blending brush and I just merged it all together to make sure that the blend on the outside is really seamless. And that is it. That is the look completed and that is the final look of this video. I feel like I've been filming for an age and I have. <laughs> so let's just wrap this video up, shall we? So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked the looks that I came up with. Obviously there's so much that you could do with this palette. And I have done other looks. I've done this look, I've done this look, I've done this look. You can literally pretty much create a rainbow with this. <laughs> and I just wanted to play around with it and show you a few more looks. Maybe, maybe this is the palette that's in the giveaway. I'm not saying it is, but I'm also not saying it's not. <laughs> Let me know if there's any other shades that you want me to play around or any other colors that you'd like me to create a look to. Thank you, Olivia, for asking for a tutorial on the first look. It really inspired me to use this a little bit more. And so I hope you like the rest of the looks that I put together. If you enjoy this kind of content and you like makeup and everything that comes along with it, then I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. But yeah, I'm now gonna love you and leave you. I hope you having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world but until the next video i shall see you bye guys my name is kiri this makeup isn't actually included in this this makeup this makeup and i'm going in with the now i'm going in with one of my favorite shades in the entire palette
So I'm priming again with the Revolution Cut Creek. It's a pretty look, but I'm just gonna um, but I'm just gonna um. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm a hazard in my own room.